Feed the Beast. And the last episode was actually a tutorial episode uh, where we built this amazing little uh, mob grinder here out of the Thomcraft tomb that had a zombie spawner and a skeleton spawner, which you see I have running this very moment. Oops, let me get back to this view here. Uh, I also notice I've added the damage indicators mod to my <coughs> to my profile here. Whoa. Uh, the only downside to this is the older, because I'm still on 147, the older version of damage indicators doesn't have the ability to to reskin it, sadly. I've got two choices. Which, that one actually doesn't look bad. But. So, we'll be alright. So, uh, I've been kind of letting it go for a little bit. I probably shouldn't have. Uh, let me turn the lights on so it will stop. <laughs> uh, and then we could get to killing, I suppose. So as you can see, um, they just drop down and get down to one or two health, and you just bash them with a stake. <laughs> Some of them are wearing armor, though, so that is a bit of an issue. Probably the best thing to do would be to brew some health potions, uh, some splash health potions. That would allow you to just kind of throw them into the mix. Oh, I got a carrot. Look at there. Die, die. Die, 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 die. Do I have... Oh, I've got Vorpal on this. I forgot all about that. Oh, it's actually been a long time since I've played on this 147 profile. I forgot Vorpal was even a thing. Because <laughs> uh, Vorpal is, part, is an enchantment that's actually added by the Red Power mod, which for all intents and purposes, really just doesn't exist anymore. I mean, it really doesn't. Oh, oh that's my normal bow. <laughs> Let's combine some of these together. Clear up the old inventory space here. Eat some steak. So yeah, we've got a nice little, nice little facility that we could use, and I actually have some future plans for this. Ugh. Oops. Let me out. Yeah, I've got some future plans for this to uh, utilize the space above this area. Turn the jetpack on. So yeah, right right now from an aerial view, it kind of looks like the Daedalus <laughs> from Stargate. Just, just a bit. Uh, so yeah, we'll revisit this at some point. Actually, we'll revisit it today because we land... We are going to, today, in this episode, we're going to look at the Soul Shards mod. Now, as I said before, I'm on version 147. Oh, hello, big man. Ah. I'm on version 147 of Minecraft still. I'll eventually update, but there's still a couple of things that we can do in 147, and even some of the Feed the Beast packs are still on 147. Uh, most of them have updated to 1.5. Some are even starting to update to 1.6, surprisingly. I oh. wonder if this is still working. Hello? Oh god. Yes. <laughs> Tesla coil is working. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's get inside the lair. Let's sleep. Get it to daytime. Ha. Oh man. Oh, this is refreshing. I've been playing 1.6.4 for a while. Uh, and, oh, hello. <laughs> Been playing 164 for a while, so it's kind of nice to, to be back in this world. Uh, now, I will make a comment here that I'm not sure how much further I'm going to go with Thomcraft in this version, because Thomcraft has actually changed two or three times <laughs> to where this whole setup isn't even remotely close to what it is now, so I don't know. We'll revisit that. Perhaps. Hello, Trogdor. You've changed color again. Oh yes. Good to be back. Good to be back. Let's let's deposit the junk. Oh, 
got a ton of arrows now. I actually, there's another mod I need to add to this. There was a mod that uh, called Infinite Bow or I Infinite Bows, I think, and you don't have to have an arrow in your inventory if you have Infinity, which would just be really nice. <laughs> Okay, we can put our handsaw up, we can put our gravity tool up, which looks weird on the wall. And I think I, I need to retire this shovel, to be honest. I mean, it served me well, but I need a new shovel. I really do. I need to actually get him a name tag. Are name tags in this version? I don't even remember when name tags were introduced. Uh, t no. <laughs> Wait, no. Okay, no. <laughs> they, uh, that must have been 1-5. Whenever they introduced horses, that's so when they introduced name tags. Uh, Thomcraft chest. Actually, I should probably move this Thomcraft chest into the actual Thomcraft room, because that would make the most sense. Buckets and signs. Actually, let's. Can we look into doing that now? What do we got in here? Uh. Yeah, I mean, we could put put a chest there. Get this chest relocated. <coughs> of all the Thomcraft stuff, let's do that real quick. Real quick. Da, da, da. Uh, or we could just not worry about it. I don't know. I'll worry about it next time I actually do Thomcraft stuff. Right. So. Soul Shards. Let us take a look at Soul Shards. Mods. Soul Shards. Alright, so as you see here, in the 147 version and in the 15 version, this still applies, you have different tiers of Soul Shards based on how many enemies you kill. Uh, in order to create the Soul Shard, the process is different in every mod. So, since I'm on the 147 version, I actually need to start off with the Soul Forge. And I'm going to get out of cheat mode before I break something. So we're going to start with Soul Forge. We need five obsidian, corrupted essence, three stone. So five obsidian. Uh, I have obsidian. Yes. <clears throat> five obsidian, three stone. Now the corrupted essence is added by this mod. It is vile dust and glowstone dust combined together. Vile, vile dust is also added by this mod. It is simply soul sand smelted in a furnace, which we have plenty of. So I'm actually going to take, I'm actually going to take a whole stack because you do end up using that vile dust a bit. Mm. Hmm. I may not have enough glowstone dust for what I need to do. In fact, I probably won't because in order to make those lamps for the <laughs> for the mob grinder. I actually had to go get more glowstone. So, we shall... Oh. Can't split the stacks by threes. So we'll get these cooking. <clears throat> uh, we'll put that up. Uh, let's go get... Let's go get some more glowstone. <clears throat> now, in the 1.5 version, since the Soul Forge is removed, there's actually a, a... There's like a weird ritual process. There we go. There's a weird ritual process in order to make a Soul Shard now, and I will show you if I've... Oops. If I've got the stuff to do it. Whee. Twilight Arrival. Hello, chicken. Alright. So, first things first. Let's make let's get our soul forge going, because that act that process actually takes a bit. So we've got all this. Let's get into our crafting table. Corrupted Essence. <clears throat> and... Ugh, can't drag. 
It's one of the best features they added, I think. Alright, we've got our Soul Forge. Where should I put this? <laughs> I'll put it there for now. Alright, we've got our Crypto Desolates. Now, do we have any diamond, actually? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I foresee a problem with this plan. <laughs> uh, oops, I need that. Uh -huh. uh, well, crap. Oh, I'm underneath the uh, <laughs> underneath the grinder. Surely I'll find diamonds. Nikolai, I've probably passed by diamonds. <laughs> oh? What is this? Hello? What? What? <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> we had a skeleton spawner. Now, in the 164 version of Soul Shards 2, you would actually need to break mob spawners to get uh, crystallized essence. And that essence is used for the crafting recipes of the mod and to give you the soul shards. I'm going to mark this actually. Uh, skeleton spawner. I've actually lost the rest of my waypoints. Holy crap. What? When did this happen? <laughs> eh, we'll do that. Ugh. Oh, diamond! Yes! Aha! We have what we need. <laughs> and then some. Might as well get some redstone while we're here. I think we're actually a little low on the redstone and the coal. Da, 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 da. Uh, all right, let's get this bit of coal as well. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, I'll just. I'll just dig up. Got a jetpack. I've got a pickaxe that digs pretty quickly. I'll just I'll just go upward. Oh, I'm going through ores. <laughs> oh well, sorry, sorry. I haven't been doing that much Minecraft content. I've just been. I've just been out of it, you know, I've been playing a lot on the 164, just kind of getting an idea and getting a feel for the newer mods. Ha. Huh. And I've just, it's just caused me to kind of lose track of this 147 world. And I don't want to, I don't want to destroy it and start new, because, you know, I've, I put some effort into this world a little bit, and, you know, I've, I really didn't like starting over in the first place because my Tekkit world, you know, Tekkit Island, we did a lot of work on Tekkit Island. You know, halfway through the series we started over and basically, and I don't know. Maybe one day Tekkit Island will return. Because <clears throat> that was a good world. That was a good world. Alright, so we're back at the lair. We've got our diamonds. Let's make our soul shard. Huh. Let's make our soul shard. Wait, wait a minute. Soul shard is this way. <laughs> Alright, so you will take your diamond and put it in the soul forge, and this will actually take a long time to cook. So while that's cooking, I will show you the one five way 
to make the soul shard because I know I've got some. What did I do with it? Okay. It actually takes end stone, so you will need to have gone to the end. It takes nether rack, and then it takes glowstone. And now that I look at it, I'm not sure I actually have enough end stone to even do it. <laughs> Alright, so what you will do. Oh, yep. Yeah. Quick tech. Presser. Okay. So what you would do is you would place a block of redstone, block of redstone, block of glowstone in the middle. You would then surround that. Well, you're going to have to move truck door. You're in the way. <laughs> You'll then surround that with netherrack. And then you would surround this again in end stone, which, yeah, I, I'm going to be too short. But you get the idea. You would make a star around around this, and then holding a diamond in your hand, you would right click on the glowstone block in the middle. It would take the diamond, pop out a soul shard. This process, what I'm doing here, which again takes forever. I think it takes eight corrupted essences to even make this thing. Uh, this will give you three soul shards. So for the sake of waiting for that to happen, um, let us let's pretend I did it the one five way. So let's let's consume a diamond. I'll throw one away, and I I will cheat in a soul shard. So if I did it the one five way, that's that's how that would have happened. Change this back to recipe mode. So there. So now we have a soul shard. So I'm gonna pick this back up just because it's in the way. Uh, uh. Oh no! I made a mess. <laughs> Must. Must fix the floor. Okay. Now, we want to fill the soul shard. <coughs> I want to empty my inventory. Okay. So the next thing we want to make is... There we go. Next thing we want to make is the Vile Sword. Now, in the 1.5 version, the Vile Sword no longer exists. In the 1.6 version, it's changed, it's come back, but it's changed, a, I think it's called a Shadow Blade, and it's crafted differently. So for the Vile Sword, we need two Corrupted Ingots. Now, Corrupted Ingots are cooking gold ingots in the Soul Forge. Uh, or, I think, yeah, if you cook iron ingots, it'll get you nuggets, basically, which is kind of dumb. So you would actually want to cook... Uh, gold ingots, and you only need two. So let's pull out two ingots. Let's go check on this. See if this is done, it's about halfway done, at least. <laughs> um, so yeah, that doesn't exist in the one five version. I don't believe. I don't remember it existing. Um, this soul crystal, I don't think was ever implemented, because I've never. Yeah, I've never seen it. Uh, the next thing we actually need to make is a soul cage. Uh, this recipe is the same in 1.4 and 1.5. It's just eight iron bars like so. Uh, so we can actually make a couple of these pretty easy. Ah, dang it. <laughs> All right. So we get one of those pretty easy. Now in 1.6, you would need... Uh, I think it's eight iron bars. It might only be four and then something else, but I know... I think it's eight iron bars, and then you need one of those crystallized soul essences to go in the middle, which you, again, you get those from killing or destroying mob spawners. You get one essence per mob spawner, uh, and that's actually what you used to craft the shadow blade in that version. Instead of these corrupted ingots, because this stuff no longer exists, uh, you would use two crystallized soul essences to make the vile sword. <clears throat> now, the reason why you want to make the vile sword and I think I can show you with this sword because I have Enchant, Enchant Plus installed. <laughs> da, da, da. See if it show, oh, it doesn't actually show it on here. Um, in the 1.4 version, there's a special enchantment that only applies to the Vile Sword called Soul Stealer. 
to kind of explain what that means, when you kill a mob with a soul shard on on your person, like so, which I will go kill something while we're still waiting for that stuff to cook. I'll go outside real quick. Let's find a zombie or a skeleton. Don't want to kill a creeper because I don't really want a creeper spawner right now. Uh, that's the wrong kind of zombie. <laughs> I need a normal zombie. Uh, a skeleton would do. Uh, I probably just want a zombie. Actually, no, we'll do a skeleton. That's fine. Skeleton. Ah. So as, as you can see, the soul shard graphic. Fuck you! The soul shard graphic has actually changed. If we, we look at it here, it is now a skeleton soul shard with two kills. That's my. Ooh, let me charge my boots. Let me charge my boots. Okay, let's get back inside here. Ugh, ugh. I'm half tempted to go back to the long fall boots, <laughs> to be honest. Because these boots just do not stay charged. Does that have a sticky piston texture? Holy crap. Uh, Alright, let's get those charged up. And is this done yet? Almost. So, now we have a soul shard with two minions killed. So each kill gives me a soul. So I killed two skeletons, as you saw. So, we've got two skeletons. Now what the soul stealer enchantment does is it adds to each kill. And you can get up to Soul Stealer 5, I believe. So Soul Stealer 5 will add 5 kills to your to your one kill, or 5 souls to your one kill. So for every kill, you would get 6 souls. Now the problem with the sword in this version is that it has maybe the durability of a gold sword. <laughs> really, I mean, a, a little bit better than a gold sword, I would say. Um, the durability of the sword in the current 164 version is actually not that bad. Uh, it's actually better than a diamond sword, oddly enough. Uh, so it's almost done. Mm -hmm. Got a oh, skeleton head. Because <laughs> why not? <clears throat> Stealing. It's got all this railcraft stuff we might use someday. <laughs> Someday. Almost done. Almost done. Oh, better go take care of that. Because he will break that door down. Because we're playing on hard. No! Someone's someone's writing a comment right now. It's like, why don't you use steel doors, iron doors? You did this in in your Tech It game. I know it just makes it more fun. Oh, it's almost done. Okay, so you have to have in this version, you have to have at least 64 kills, I believe, for it to be tier one. It kind of goes off. Think RAM: 64, 128, 512. 1,064, etc., etc. Uh, I don't... Well, I can just look at the exact numbers. <laughs> yeah. 128, 256, 512, 1024. And each tier... Uh, this applies to the 1, 4, and 1, 5 versions. Each tier has different spawn rates, um, different light levels, and only, I think, f f the later ones can only be affected by a redstone signal, where you can turn the spawner on and off. In 6... Uh, in 164 in the soul shards 2 when you the way you get a soul shard itself is you have to have the sword and you have to have extra crystallized essence in your inventory and depending on what you kill it requires a different amount of crystallized essence so you have to kill something with the sword like mm, like like a normal animal, like a cow for instance you you have to have the sword in your hand uh, crystallized essence in your inventory. You kill the cow, and the crystal one crystallized essence will turn into a soul shard. 
uh, more difficult mobs like like blazes, for instance. Aha, here's our three soul shards. Uh, like blazes require, I believe, three crystallized essence in your inventory in order to make a soul shard of that. I'm not sure. This is a lot faster. So this kind of takes me back to what I said at the beginning. In this version, that in these ver these versions that require tiers, you really want, you really need a grinder to get started in this, a uh, mob grinder. So what you can do is just kind of go go AFK at your grinder. Where are my wood planks? Oh. Go AFK at your grinder. Just wait till it builds up. Oops. will make a sword. Aha! Now I'm gonna go see how much it costs to put Soul Stealer and a breaking on it. Oop. So the main things we need is unbreaking and soul stealer. That is actually gonna cost twenty nine levels. <laughs> Alright. So we've got our Vile Sword. Let's head to... Let's get this out. Uh, actually, we were, we're going to want to put these Soul Shards up. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Oh, and take my boots back. Wait. Why is this not refilled? What has happened? Why are you not fitting? Hello? What's down there anyway? Oh, Accuracy Accumulator. Why is this not filling up now? That's interesting. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if the redstone signal I have here is interfering with... I wonder if it's turning the bench off. Huh. Let's test this. Let us sleep. Ba, 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 ba. <clears throat> All right, let's go take a look. Oh, it, oh no. Wait. Oh, okay. It just hadn't. The block hadn't updated for me. Okay, so this that redstone wire is actually turning that bench off and not letting it recharge. It's nice to know. So, as I was saying, uh, what you would want to do is take your vile sword with soul stealer and unbreaking. You will want to go to your mob grinder of choice. Whoop. <clears throat> and just let it just let it stack up. So in this case, I've got skeletons. But, uh, ugh. Need to make an easier transit system to get to all these places. Got the B area there, and the grinder over here. Ugh, everything's so far away. So in this case, I've got the skeletons, which I should probably label which ones are skeletons. So we just turn the skeletons on, let them stack up, kill them with the sword. So I will see you guys in a minute. Okay. So it's been about 20 minutes since I turned this on. Uh, so I'll go ahead and turn it off. So uh, I think there's about a hundred, a uh, hundred skeletons in here. So let's just get to whacking. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Arr. Now, in order to get the soul sealer benefit, you do have to kill the mobs with the vile sword. Da, 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 da. So, like what I said before with using a potion, a health splash potion on these mob grinders, it won't, it'll give you the kill, I believe, but it won't give you that plus five to every kill. Another thing you can do, if I had another sword to do it, well, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be breaking that quickly. A little bit. Um... Oh, I'm starving. 
eat the sticky piston steak. Okay. Uh, one thing you can do is actually fill another soul shard. Oh no, I'm using the wrong sword. No. <laughs> and this needs to be on my hot bar. Oh. I screwed that up. Yep. Oh, I messed that up entirely. Oh. What a. Uh, my Thaumium sword is purple. <laughs> Crap. So I did two things wrong. I wasn't using the correct sword, and I didn't have the soul shard on my hotbar. That needs to be on my hotbar. Did I leave this on? No, I turned it off. So, one more skeleton kill. Which I'm probably not going to find one now. <laughs> uh, one more skeleton kill, and I would actually have a tier 1 spawner. Ah, oh, dang it. That was stupid of me. It was stupid. But you get the idea. So, it's, it's good to have a... It's good to have a, a mob grinder, especially a double mob, mob grinder. So what I was saying is that you could fill one shard up with one type of mob, fill another shard up with another type of mob, which I will do real quick. <clears throat> Let me find something. You know, I think it might be time kill our villager. Sorry, villager. Oh no, it didn't give me... Well, fine. I'll kill the sheep. There. <laughs> Alright, so now I have a sheep soul shard. With six souls, because I used the sword. You know, like I'm supposed to. So what you can do is take an anvil, stick the target soul shard first, and then the extra soul shard next, and it will actually... <laughs> It's got an interesting multiplication thing. I don't I don't know if this was a bug back in the day. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, you can't do this anymore uh, in the 164 version, but you could do this in 1415. So I actually combine these together, and now I have a Tier 2 Skeleton Shard. And what I will do is... Uh, I think I will utilize this room for a moment. So we shall put the soul shard in the middle. And let me get a lever. I know they're in here. There they are. Let's get the lever. Uh, now this works universally for all the mods. You have your soul cage. You have your soul shard, you stick it in. Stick it in. Now this will start spawning skeletons. I think since it's only a tier 2, the light level might affect it. Uh, can we do... Does that not work? Okay, hold on. Okay, how... How do we rewire this if I want to work it from the inside? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, well, I know what I could do. Give me, uh, can I connect? Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, it's not on my hotbar, so I gotta be careful. Because I know at certain tiers, it makes it to where the light level of the room doesn't matter. Uh, 
Yeah, let's do that. As weird as that sounds. And then... Oh! Trogdor is going to work! No, Trogdor! Be careful! So, as a tier 2, it will spawn about equivalent, maybe a little more frequently than than a mob, a normal vanilla spawner. Ooh. Get him, Trogdor. Oh no! Trogdor's been hit. I'll save you. Okay, let's get our... Uh, Let's get our lever back. Now I think that shuts it off. I think. <laughs> um, get out here, truck door. Get out here. Come on. Come on, dog. There we go. Sit back down. All right. Let's listen for a second. Yep, I think that did it. Okay, so this one can be controlled by redstone. Good, 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 good. Maybe they all can. I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, so that is Soul Shard. Sorry if that was a long-winded explanation of how this mod works. I just wanted to kind of make sure we went over... Oh, god. Okay, never mind. Redstone signal doesn't work on Tier 2. Uh, let's break it. And that will give you the uh, Soul Shard back. Of course, my inventory is full of junk, so there we go. Oh, I, I want the soul cage as well. There we go. All right. So yeah, that that's pretty much it. Uh, come on, drug door. Let's come back to the main room. Awesome. So, yep, that is the soul shard mod. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I've been sarcasm the pin cushion. This has been drug door the the arrow magnet. And we will see you guys next time.